Hello everyone, welcome to the Planner Coven. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I have been absent for a while because I was traveling and then I got the plague. <coughs> so if I sound strange, that's why. I uh, will probably be breathing heavy <laughs> and maybe coughing a little, but okay, here we are. I wanted to show you um, my April setup. Um, the main stage of which is this beautiful new cover that I have. I say new, but I've had it for uh, well over a month now. <clears throat> it is a Gilio Medium Campania in Acid Green. Uh, this is my happy color. Strangely, I only wear black. I declare myself a neutral girly, and then I somehow collect, like, bright green stationary shit. Um, and this is like the pinnacle of that. <laughs> uh, and it's amazing. Um, currently I have 30 millimeter rings in there. When I ordered it, I got the matte black 25 millimeter rings, which looked amazing. Um, but they kept gapping. Um, and I think they were a little bit too small. Um, even the replacement set that I got that Julio sent me. So I ordered the 30 mil rings and they work a lot better um so here we are here she is she already has some beauty marks um which i'm okay with um i have this little phone charm it's jellyfish and stars i like it a lot it does get pretty beat up especially that blue one there it's like kind of falling apart we'll see how long it lasts but i think it's cute um, let's get into it. So this is my, oh my God, my desk is such a mess. My theme for April is divine. If you don't know who divine is, um, I guess you could just Google divine drag queen. Um, she is a legendary drag queen, um, <clears throat> and was in a lot of, uh, John Waters movies, uh, this is from the movie Pink Flamingo, this dashboard. It's a still from the movie. Uh, this is polyester and hairspray. Yes, the original hairspray. Um, this is just a little a business card from an artist that I bought some prints from at Anime Detour. And I like the colors and the detail of I, I this is one of the prints that I bought so I like that card in here I have some eclipse glasses that I'm going to save until the next eclipse I was sick in bed when this past one went by I don't have anything in this secretarial pocket in the back I have this Filofax notepad I don't have anything in the pockets apart from this um I just love this for making lists to, to go to the store um, I have some plain, well, it's not plain. It's five millimeter grid paper, which is what I use for my, uh, all my notebook inserts. And I have a bookmark. In the back pocket, I never thought I would like a back pocket, but I'm loving this back pocket. Um, it holds paper, like full paper, just folded in half. Um, and I love it. Um, it has the fly leaf, and I just put the, the dashboard. This is um, laminated vellum, so you can see uh, the green fly leaf through it. Um, I have this Ollie clip here because everybody who has a Gilio medium Campania or probably other Campanias, um, the zipper like hits that and indents the fly leaf. It would be solved if I just put a little fly piece of leather like over the zipper, but <sighs> oh, Jillio. Um, we give you our money anyway. Um, so not a ton has changed in my setup, but I'm going to do a full flip through anyway because there have been some changes. Um, here I still have my running to do list. I have one for every month. So you can see there's some things that happen like every three months. I just go ahead and put them on my to do list for that month. Um, this is my wheel of the year that I got on Etsy. 
uh, Father Fox year overview. I still put a little sleeping cat sticker over each month that passes. Then we get into the months. Um, I st I'm still doing my monthly review and stuff, um, but I'm a little bit behind. I haven't done Marches yet, um, but here's April. Um, here's my divider. Um, yeah, this is working well for me. I have all my events here. This is where I do my main event planning. Um, I don't use like a digital calendar or anything. Everything just happens here. Um, and I do sync it with my uh, mini five, my file facts mini. Um, I'll show you here. So I have a little calendar insert here that I sync with. This is relatively new and it's my wallet. I love it so much. Um, I'll do a video dedicated to that. Um, so after the months, I'm not going to show you like all the empty ones. Um, this is a Gloomy from Megan Riernan. Riernan? <laughs> Petite Gloom. Um, I'll link her stuff in the description. Pickle, are you making noise over there? Yes. Um, I love her artwork. It's it's great. Um, and I'll just flip through March, like, c completed. Um, I love putting uh, lots and lots of um, Polaroids in my dailies. So um, I'm still doing my dailies the same way. So I have um, my vertical weeks from Ray May here. Vertical weeks, this is the start of the week, this is the second half of the week, and then I sandwich my dailies in between. So every all the days in this week are sandwiched in between the weeks. I like that. It's, oh, this is when I got my, my cover. So great. I got it on March 12th. So yes, I've had it for well over a month now. Look at Pickle. Pickle is my cat. I love being able to just like um, pull things out and put them back in as needed, especially Polaroids, because I'm very nostalgic. I flip through um, all these things like probably every other day. Um, this was a puzzle contest that I did at my local library. That was fun. Um, I'm still using the same date stickers. As you can see, on days where I don't have much on there, I just throw a sticker or something down. Uh, I'm not scared of white space. It's just, um, you know, something to put there. This was, I was Kiki at <laughs> uh, Anime Detour, and that was my partner. He was a protogen. Um, I was Kiki at, this was Kiki After Dark when we went to the rave. Kiki went raving. It was fun, but that's where I got uh, COVID. And here we are in April. I This month, I'm using a lot of these. Um, they're like these little washi papers that come in, in like a stack. Um, they're not adhesive or anything so I just put them down with scotch tape but there's lots that just show like hands so <laughs> I'm just gonna find all the ones that show hands this month and those are gonna go in my empty spaces and there's some still lifes too oh pickle wants to come up and visit hi pickle more hands like so many hands. Oh, look at my nephew. I have their permission to post him on the internet. Although I don't greatly approve of posting children on the interwebs. So this is this week. Um, 
I've been sick this week, so not much is going on, but uh, here we are. This is what my dailies look like when they're, when we're um, going through it. Still sick. So after um, my weeks, <clears throat> I have my sticker release paper with all my date stickers. Um, then I have, these are all my um, empty dailies. So every day I just come over here, pop one out, put the date sticker on it, go back to today, pop a new one in, and it works really well. I love it. Then we go to my activity log and my weight tracker and everything. Um, this is new. I This is the same thing that I use for my mood tracker. It's from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, oh, by the way, you can probably see I have reinforcers here. I use this awesome thing from Kokio. Um, you just, you put the hole on this and then you press down and it adds a reinforcement sticker on there. It's really magical. Kokio makes the coolest shit, y'all. Um, so this is my, I printed this all. This is from, um, oh my God, I'm getting so distracted. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, from one of their yearly bundles. Um, and this is my weight tracker. We were doing so well, then we weren't. But now we're getting back on track. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, and I've been sick for three full weeks, so my activity tracker is uh, not doing great. But still tracking my food and journaling a little bit. Um, nothing um, entirely has changed there. Um, I took out the first quarter of the year, so I'm just putting in um, quarters of uh, for this paper, because this paper's a little bit thicker and my planner is already kind of chunky, so. Um, my notes haven't changed. Um, I think I showed this last time. I have a Pokemon type matchup card. Um, and this is a new section. This is uh, my morning pages section. So I'm not going to show everything because, like, I don't even read through these. Um, and I have no idea what's in them because that's how morning pages work. But this is some of that 5mm um, grid, Tomeware River paper. Um, I have this. Uh, top loading envelope for Polaroids. And here we are in my tracker section. Um, I just have a little, this acts as a divider and I have a little tab here. By the way, I'm going to show you all of my bottom tabs. I am team bottom tabs, honey. As you can tell, I have monthly. Uh, this is today. This is the week. This is where my daily inserts are, my activity log, my food log, my notes section, my tracking section, my morning pages, and my reading section. Um, I labeled all these with my um, little label maker. I think it's a brother one. Um, and I got some clear tape for it. So that works. And it's easy to s flip where I need to go. So I'm still using my mood tracker. Um, I'm behind on coloring it in, but whatever. Um, ooh, I'm also behind in averaging stuff, so I should do that. Uh, I'm no longer writing full-time, so I'm not tracking my writing um, word count anymore. But um, I might still do, like, word count tracking, because I still do write. Um, but there's no need for me to, like track it every day anymore. Um, temperature tracker is still going strong. I'm a few days behind. I do it like once a week. TV show tracker. This has been busy. 
Um, so <laughs> I kept running out. I mean, I don't even know where I left off in my last video, but I, I watch a lot of TV. Um, and I kept running out of these pages. So I printed off a lot, as you can see. Hopefully that'll last me the year. I hope so. Um, currently watching The Gilded Age, which I like a lot. Ooh, the costumes. Uh, and here we go into my reading section. This is new. Um, this is a reading guide from T.L. Branson uh, for Throne of, Gra th Throne of Grass. Throne of Glass. Um, I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses the series. I'm on A Court of Mist and Fury right now. I've got to tell you, like, I'm not that impressed. These aren't great books, y'all. I'm sorry. Three stars for Akatar. Um, but, like, uh, numerous people have said, like, as individual books, they're not great. But as a series, it's incredible. And I'm like, well, in order to read the series, you have to read each individual book. Do you see the conundrum, honey? So, um, I'll go through the books I've read this year so far. Oh, but this Throne of... I'm not at Throne of Glass yet. But I'm going to read all of the series in a specific order. So, the first three books in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Then all the books in Throne of Glass. I'm going to read the romantic reading order... And I'm going to do a tandem read for Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms, where you read both of the books at the same time. And this just is just a checklist of which chapter to read in which book, the correct order. So I just, um, I, I don't, this was an eight by 11, eight and a half by 11 page. And I just sized it down and turned it sideways to fit in personal. And it fits really well. Um... Okay, I've read Fourth Wing. That was great. House in the Cerulean Scene was even better. House in the Cerulean Sea. Uh, when the Crow's Away, that was a cute, like, witchy, cozy mystery. Iron Flame, not as good as Fourth Wing, but still pretty good. Uh, this was Legend. I DNF'd it. Um, I was going to start this book, which is why it's in here. So it's on my TBR, but the I know... I had to return it to the library and um, never got to it. But I'll check it back out and read it at some point. This book, oh my god, Divine Rivals. This is the best book I've read in a long time. So good. So, so good. You have to read it. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but if you want to read my thoughts, you can go ahead and pause the video and read my thoughts. And the sequel, Ruth's Vows. Not as good as the first one, as predictable. Um, but still really great. And then we get to Akatar, and I'm like, mm, pretty interesting once she goes under the mountain, but up until then, I'm just like, I'm not sure I could be bothered to finish this book. It's so boring! It's not as interesting as Fourth Wing, or as fast-paced as Fourth Wing, or as well-written as Divine Rivals. So coming off of those books, this is just not the business, and I'm struggling. I don't know, maybe I should just come back to it, but I feel like if I don't keep going now, I'm never going to come back to it, you know? Because I am not someone who remembers books very well, which is why I'm a chronic rereader and a rewatcher of shows and books. Because <clears throat> I can read a book, and then six months later, I'm like, what the hell even happened in that book? Which is why I have this reading journal in my planner. So anyway, this is where we are. I was like, sigh, my DNF this. Um, and I barely did any reading while I was sick, because I couldn't keep my eyes open. But And then we have the sketchbook section in the back. Look at Pickle, sleeping, a little cutie. Uh, and then in the very back, um, this acts as like a page lifter. 
it works pretty well. Um, this sticker of Sadie Killer and the Suspects. Sadie Killer and the Suspects. Um, and then in this pocket, I have um, book, uh, book, what are these called? Book cover stickers, <laughs> book cover stickers, and um, Coffee Monster Co. rating uh, stickers for the book section. And that's it. I'm glad I got to show you my new cover and my theme for April and all the things that have changed. Not a ton has changed, but I love a flip through. Like Pink Planner Girl flips through her planner, planner every single week and like very little changes, but I still love it. I don't know why. So I'm just going to do a monthly flip through. How's that? Um, I am going to do a dedicated flip through of my mini five. Me, 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 me. So cute. Look how tiny it is. It's look at look at it in my hand. It's a perfect wallet. Really it is. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on that and on the other covers that I have. But um yeah, this has been a pretty quick video, I think, compared to some of my other ones. So um thank you for visiting. Thanks for coming by. I hope you're well. And take care. Bye.